Now, when you got the role as Onloff, mm -hmm. what kind of research and preparation did you do coming into the film? Uh, I don't do that much okay. research. I, I sort of, I think about acting like, uh, because also when I've played like real life characters and I've done a few, you can you can never be the character in, in real life. People are much, much more interesting than what, what fiction is. And you can always just bring some light to the character from, from, from some point of view. And I, I think that if it's not in the scene, it's really hard to, to bring it there. So my, my, my main... My main tool is uh, is the script, and uh, right. it's the scene and and, uh, and the different scene, and to sort of uh, build a character that sort of makes sense and feels, uh, if not logic, uh, still in the, that that it feels it makes sense why why he he does the things he does, even if uh, yeah. they might be like out of this world, it still has to sort of fit the, the world of the of the character or or, or the, the story yeah. and uh while we were shooting this russia uh attacked ukraine oh wow which, which of course made you think about about war and uh i mean right. it's the same it's it's yeah. it's the same fight going on that went on in then yeah. and it's the same fight that goes on today that's the only thing that changes is, is uh, the tools they use, and... the, the tools they use, and uh, and, uh, and and the weapons. But uh, people are still the same, with the same Amazing. fears, and and uh, so so that was one one thing that I especially into the big fight scene that I was thinking about a lot. And I, yeah. I watched, uh, I I tend to watch a lot of documentaries when I yeah. when I'm when I'm playing something. I don't, uh, I think I think documentaries are are a better tool for an actor than watching other actors act something. Okay, because, fair enough. Fair because enough. because that's that's where you get sort of your the idea, so that you they, they have to sort of remind you in some way of uh, of life of real life. I just remember this. I was watching a documentary. I, I was spent, it was during the pandemic, so I spent a lot of time just in the hotel room, just watching right. different stuff. Stuff. Yep. And, so did uh, we all? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I watched a documentary about the the uprising in uh, in in Kiev in in Ukraine. Okay. From 2014, I can't remember. It was Winter on Fire? I think it's called. Okay. And they had this big protest on the on the on the square, on the Maidan Square, that went went on because they tried to get rid of the corrupt corrupt government. They started shooting on on their own people during mm. during that time. And this, uh, I remember a scene when when there's a guy who's there's a few bodies laying on on uh, just on the streets of of Kiev, and uh, he's trying to get Go go there and, and get the bodies away back to their to their base. Right. Just this guy dressed just like you and me at the moment. Right. right. And then when he gets shot, he, it's like turning off and he dies. So it's and, and it was so dramatic because it was just like somebody just pulled the switch, you know, pulled the plug. Just like yeah. off. It's from on and then suddenly it's just like and there's nothing dramatic about it yeah, yeah it's just like life just disappears and he's just oh. so when there's the scene with uh Anla's daughter uh, yeah astrid yeah astrid yeah when, when she gets she gets shot by an arrow yeah and, and it hits straight it's in the line moment. yeah and i remember we discussed this with the with, with the director i said I, I i was talking to him about uh and also to the stand to Levente about and i saw this that and when people die they just like go away and because he's a uh, he's a he's a warrior he's so he knows that when she gets she, it's it, uh, the arrow hits the line so she's gonna die right in, in let's say five seconds and, and, and then life is over so that there's no big like reaction to it right right like, like oh, oh shit what happened oh my daughter oh, like you like, hold her in your arms for five minutes yeah and like, yeah, yeah. And crying and then and then go and, and i watched uh I, I did watch a few uh, earlier seasons from the last kingdom. And, okay. And the story, the story is sometimes that there is a Viking king who loses his child and he goes for revenge. Exactly. And they yeah. they often go for revenge, sort of like 
oh, I killed my daughter, and I'm going, oh, I'm going to kill you. That's the, that's sort of the that's right. So and uh, and and because this is the last the last movie and the, the last thing to the end, uh, I was thinking that I want to do do it in a bit of a different way. Sure. So so that he just sees her die, and he just continues, and there's no like yeah. motion that like up or down. I think we we tend to. We tend to sort of uh, romanticize fights and war, right, right, a lot more than they are. And if you look at, which you shouldn't, but uh, if, if you're stuck in a hotel room in Budapest, you yeah. can watch like real war footage, right, right, and uh, it's uh, it's actually really dramatic because there's no big emotions, and yeah. unless you get hit there, and, and the people are really like panicking. Right. That's the first, like, like if you if you get people go back into a stage, like they they sound like the I think like seven or eight year old kids uh, mm, getting right, hurt. and like there's the fear but, must be so intense. Exactly. The fear that they so, feel and, you know. Yeah. So we were getting getting news all all the time from uh, what the, the happenings in uh, in in Ukraine and Russia, and I think wow. that at least for for me it made made sort of an impact too. But we are telling the same story yeah what's happening today it's uh, but uh in a different time so it's yeah. so weird uh, speaking of documentaries i've just watched a documentary funny enough about chimpanzees uh-huh. um it just came out on netflix it's a great documentary called chimp okay. empire and it's crazy okay. those same similarities of like putin invading uh-huh. ukraine um you know invading england and like that's the same thing these chimpanzees do. Oh yeah, um, I haven't seen this documentary, like, but, but yeah, I've, it's amazing when you watch that and you see so many social similarities between them. Obviously, yeah. our closest living ancestor. Yeah, it's like it almost you almost see the humanistic evolutionary drive mm-hmm. to invade and to to fight, and and it's kind of crazy and the violence. Yeah, you know? yeah. go to war, chimps. You go to war. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Come on, chimps. Get it together. Come on, it, was just, it was wild yeah. to watch that. It was wild to watch that. But, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, I get it. That moment specifically with with Astrid, uh, we love that you know Anlaf puts the axe in her hand. Yes. Obviously, that's that's a huge thread throughout um, TLK um, yeah. about you know the that afterlife. Was actually, that was actually Levente who, yeah. who, who, who told me he said that. Yes, Levente. You yes. Know, yeah, yeah. Put the axe so she she can get to to heaven to Valhalla. To Valhalla. So Ten yes. points, yeah. Levente. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> it was, I, I can't take any many. Any of that to myself, so yeah, that was something. Yeah. But that, that but moment really, was really super well done. That moment, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, turn around, ready to go, uh, is fantastic. And and I also love the moment in that battle when you turn around and watch the other kings leaving the scene, mm-hmm. and you're just like, "What the hell?" <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I think it it must have felt a bit like it must feel a bit like that when you're. I think people are. Are lost when when they're fighting. I think it, you're, right. you're such, and, and suddenly you wake up and like, what, what what's going on? And, and because there's so much adrenaline and so much noise and, and smell and yeah. and uh, every everything. So so I think you sometimes you just look up and you like realize that there's what, what's going on. So yeah, but the other ones were leaving. So. Yeah, we. We thought this battle too. They did a good job of like making it super gritty and realistic. They had people mm-hmm. throwing up and peeing themselves, and like it really gave you that sense that it's just a mess. These kind of battles are yeah. just totally a mess. Yeah, and it, uh, I think the what's it called the real battle that it's uh, uh, it's one of the bloodiest battles in, oh, yeah. in history. The, so. uh, Bruna 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 Bruna. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's where they think England was like formed. 